Hello, David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome. I am back in London. I am here at Sophie Harley. We are going to meet Sophie Harley herself. Let's see if she's in. We have no idea if she's in. We're going to knock. Pal I there she is. Sophie, hello. How are you? Mwah. Mm, my gosh. I know, it's like we've met for the first time. We haven't rehearsed this at all. No, this is an absolute one-off. So this is your this is your this home. This is my studio. This is this is HQ. Now I have to ask the question, do you always have hordes of Bond fans in here? Well, not quite as many as this, but okay. we do have Bond fans. My course. gosh. Yes. Well, first of all, I'm greeted yes. by Champagne. Yeah, of so course, you time. do this right. This is a Bond yeah, experience this is how already. We do it. This is how we do it. I yeah. love it. I love yeah. it. Well, thank you. So why it's don't why don't we take a tour? Yeah. Show us around. Yeah. and whatever you want to talk about. Okay. Well, obviously, there's a, a lot of lot of fantastic Bond fans in the room. Yes. You, you know everybody's name. I, I do. I, I do. know Rema. I know Anders. There's people know from you. everywhere. Scandinavia, yeah, Brazil, Scotland. Yeah. I mean, it's you have them here. Yeah, it's incredible to have so many people in the room. Well, they're, they're all huge fans. And first of all, yeah. I've got to thank you. Yeah. Um, and, and this is not blowing smoke. Uh, you truly have created something that is both art and functional in the yeah. standpoint that from a movie standpoint yeah. it represents the connection yeah. of Bond. Yeah. Bond yeah. and his loved one. It does. So yeah. can we start with something very simple? Yes. How did you get this gig? Okay, so it started really, in fact, I printed out a picture to show you. Ah, okay. Because the, it really started with making jewelry for Lindy Hemming's daughter's wedding. Oh, no kidding. And Lindy Hemming, it, uh, obviously, is the designer for Casino Royale and the costume designer for right. many Bond films, Batman's Low. She's like the doyen of the British theater scene. That's where she came from. Yeah. But, you know, she's got everyone on speed dial. Madonna, right. Angelina Joni, Jolie, you know, the whole lot. Right. And anyway, her daughter was a designer for Harry Potter, the films, the oh, amazing Harry Potter Oh films. my gosh. And she got married in a red wedding dress, right. very theatrical, yeah. with a gold dragon all the way out the Ooh, back of it. Okay. So I made the jewellery that went with the dress. I don't have the jewellery, obviously right. she has it, but they were these really beautiful, really beautiful silver cuffs with engraved gold dragons, and the dragons have diamond eyes. And I made earrings for her, the cuffs for her, Cufflinks for her husband. Right. So a whole range of jewellery for her to wear with this dress. Oh my gosh. So Lindy obviously knew my work right. from that anyway. And she loved my work because it's my work's like a kind of cross-cultural eclectic mixture of different symbolism and you know, I, I love ancient designs, I it love shows. Roman jewellery, I right. love Etruscan jewellery, I love you know, I love jewellery from different cultures and different right. times. Um, so my work's got that real feel of something a mixture with ancient and contemporary, mm -hmm. and you can't always quite place it in time. This and is I think perfect. Yeah, it was perfect for Bond yeah. because they wanted something really mysterious. Wow. So uh, at the end of 2005, about a week before Christmas, I got an email from Lindy um, just saying, "Hey Sophie, do you want to do the jewelry for the next Bond film?" And I was so tired because I was, you know, right before Christmas, really Oh, yeah, busy. of course. When I realized it wasn't a friend just, you know, taking yeah. the mickey, I was like, I remember emailing going, yeah, of course, yeah, I'd love to do that. Right. You know, because I thought it might just be a really great opportunity, obviously, but it might just be like one shot of something. Like a quick little background exactly. piece. Yeah. So at that point, I had no idea that it was going to be like a really main feature of the jewelry and be in most of the film and that Eva was going to wear it all 75% of the time. And Absolutely. Bond was going to say... They we talk analogy. about it. Like, I know, amazing. Yeah. So I just said, yeah, of course, I'd love to do that. So these are the drawings. Okay, yeah, let's take a look. Drawings. Yeah. So, so these are these are the original drawings which um, went to Martin Campbell, the director, and obviously they're based on four interconnecting rings, which is a love nod, but. An Algerian love knot doesn't exist. That was just a fictitious. But by the way, did you have any um, notes on we wanted to kind of represent this or look like that? No, the only the only thing I was told is it should be four interconnecting rings. Right. And then they really let me run free with it. Okay. So I locked myself in the studio on the first of January or whatever, whenever it was, two thousand six. Look at looked at a blank page and just thought. Crikey, I have to come up with a good yeah, style. Like exactly. this, this is a Bond film, right. so wow. But I think if I'd have known how important that piece of jewelry was going to be in the film right. and how long it was going to be on screen, yes. you know, for, I think I would have just been so terrified I wouldn't be able to design it. So oh it was actually gosh. quite good, but I didn't good. really know, yeah. you know. So these are my initial ideas. So I wanted to do four interconnecting rings that have different symbolism on each mm -hmm. ring. My work's always heavily symbolic. 
There are ideas here for putting gems in the centre of it. This is a ruby or a gem drop. And anyway, just gradually, you know, we come towards the, the piece that I actually finally designed for the movie, which is here. And then when I designed that, the drawings, Lindy took the drawings to uh, Martin, and he right. said, yeah, I love it. Definitely should go with it and make a piece. And as I was making the first prototype for the piece, I suddenly thought, God, what are they going to, what's Eva going to wear? You know, what earrings is she going to wear with it? Because I don't want her wearing somebody else's earrings right. with my necklace. Right. So I phoned up. So it's amazing. So I phoned them up. Wait, wait, wait. So they did, this was your idea oh, yeah. to come up with the other jewelry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a, that's, that's a newsflash. That's a first. That that's a newsflash. Yeah. So I spoke to Martin, who's lovely, and he said, yeah, go ahead, design some earrings. So these are the initial drawings for the earrings. Right. And as you can see on this page, I've got some drawings that I did a, a while before oh, wow. in the British Museum. So you can see the kind of influences that my work has. Very Absolutely. historical, very symbolic, very cross-cultural. And actually this little sketch is actually the only sketch I did before I actually made the, these pieces. Which will show you Those the real, real pieces in a minute. <laughs> yeah, you've got them in. Yeah, yeah. And there's lovely, beautiful Eva wearing everything. So really, as, as soon as they said yes, it went. It all happened very, very quickly. Right. So I made the first prototype. I think that one went out, out to the Bahamas, and they sort of started shooting immediately. And then I had to make multiples because obviously the film shot all over the world. Right. And they can't risk not having, you know, one pair of earrings or the necklace missing because right. it's millions of pounds every oh, day. Of so they just kept phoning me up saying, oh, make another five, make another ten, oh whatever it is. So I made quite a lot for each film. Right. And it was a commission, so I was, I was paid to do it, which was really exciting as a yeah. very small business, you know. I'm not Gucci or right, Aston right. Martin yeah. at the end of the day. I have to ask a question. Did yeah. At any point did they say, I know you're excited, but you can't tell anybody you're doing Oh, yes. No, no, I had to sign the official secrets The act. NDAs yeah, literally. and things like no, that. No, yeah. I, no, no, no. I had to sign it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, so, obviously, you know, we knew about it in right. here because we were making it. But, no, I was, yeah, I had to be very careful about that. Very yes. About that. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so there we go. The, uh, at one point, they lost a whole box of earrings. Oh, no. And they were shooting in Prague or something the next day. So, right. I literally had to sit at the workbench all night and get them out to them by, oh, like, 3 o'clock the next afternoon. I did it, I did it. And um, yeah, the rest is history, isn't it? Unbelievable. Just the most fantastic commission. So, so where where is it made? Like where is the, where are the jewelry well, made? Here's, so here's the workbench. All right, let's so take a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah look absolutely. Look we're going to be a world news, you know, like this, all around the world. So this is no pressure. No pressure at all. This is lovely Annie and Rosita. Hello. And actually, here they are, in process, oh actually gosh. making some of the pieces. Yeah, we've just been explaining so, yeah. how the, the process works. That's fantastic. Works, so. so we don't want to give too many secrets away, but it's, the knot itself is a very complex piece to make. Yes. It's cast in about seven or eight different parts oh my which are then put together and then it goes through a lot of a lot of processes to well, get I think to I think it's important not only to to see the process but to meet you because yeah. this is not a factory no, these are not. being made by hand with people yeah. that are, are craftsmen your artists yeah. Yeah, and putting exactly. that together that's yeah. that's a lost art yeah real people really skilled jewelers yeah yeah there's and, like five uh, or six different processes yeah, yeah exactly yeah. oh my gosh two weeks to work with these. Yeah. Wow. And obviously we really care about it. This is our most famous piece of jewellery. It's yes. very important to the business. You know, it's completely put us on the international map. I was going to ask yeah. that question. Yeah. Um, and it's impossible probably to name a percentage, but what yeah. percentage of pieces that you sell are related to Bond in some way? Well, I think... I can't really give you a percentage at the moment because, um, you know, we have all the, the facts and figures. Sure. But rather than a percentage, I'd say our top selling item probably it is bond related. It is bond related. Yes. But, you know, I was in business 16 years before that. That's so, right. Uh, you know, I have quite a fabulous business already. Well, that's an important thing to talk yeah. about is that you have an entire line of yeah. incredible motivational things that have yeah. really nothing to do with this. Oh, yeah. But We've they, got they, loads of collections. They yeah. follow your whole idea of what I consider timelessness and yet yeah. this ancient feel. Yes, exactly. So yeah. Something that has, a, like I said, is, you know, can almost travels across across culture and yeah. across time. You yeah. know, and, and has, a, has a feeling of, I love a feeling of ancient history, but, you know, created in a much more contemporary way. Absolutely. Yeah. And but by the way, the, the, the men out there want to thank you for creating some love knot pieces for men. 
because this way we can kind of work and and for us yeah the tie tax and the the lapel pins and things like that after the film came out obviously the piece was so popular and it had so much you know we had so much attention over it I remember after the film came out in November 2006 I kind of came into work the next day and uh, my literally my inbox just said Algerian love not Algerian love not Algerian love not oh my gosh it was was absolutely mega we completely unprepared I don't think I even had one in the studio right right you know for the amount of attention that yeah. he's going to get but you know it's obviously been really fantastic for us and I've met some amazing people through it I've done some incredible things through it I went to a fantastic uh, Bond event in uh, in Los Angeles oh my gosh yeah. I've, I've donated a lot of these to charity as well right 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 so I've done a lot of charity work with the with the Love Not Itself yes and some of it's much more publicised than other other bits but sure went to an incredible um, charity uh, do yeah in LA and I think that went to a children's music charity actually the money but they I made a special silver and gold plated one with tiny little diamonds oh my gosh and that one sold for like $25,000 so that was you know that was a lot of money for a, a charity it's fantastic though. It's really good. Absolutely. Yeah. So the well love deserved. lot has really yeah. sent universal love around the world. It's amazing. And, and some good work. So did you know at some point that your work was going to be in two James Bond films? Because you're no. a Quantum of Solace yeah. in a very yeah. significant way. Well, actually, it was, I didn't know that was going to happen. And um, it sounds quite glamorous because I was actually at the Ritz in Bahrain. Oh. As you do. With yeah. a friend of mine who lives out there. And I got a phone call, it was Kate called me, we went, hey Sophie, it's going to be in this next film, Quantum of Solace, like they need another 10, you know. Oh my gosh. Shoot. And um, so that's when I found out about that. So that was really lovely uh, that it went into that film as well. But I mean, I'm always going to love seeing it on Eve the most. Oh, absolutely. Because it was absolutely. so glamorous, she's yeah. so beautiful. She came into the studio as well. Yeah. So I met her and she did her fittings in here, she was lovely. Yeah. I went on set. Oh, she, came, she was here then? Yeah, she came to the studio. Oh, that's yeah, very yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my I went gosh. on set when they were filming the Venetian scenes, the right. scene thing, so that was great. And actually stood in the galley along with uh, Martin Campbell, the director, yeah. while he was shooting the film. And he was sort of chatting to me about the jewellery. Amazing. Right. Well, you understand, I mean, at least from a fan standpoint, yeah. the jewellery becomes a character. Your, your love yeah. knot became a character because the very last shot of Quantum of Solace is not Bond. No, it's all, it's, it's your the, necklace. It's the sn- they threw it in the snow. They threw it in the snow. Yeah. And, and I went and picked it up. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and gave it to your lovely wife. I did, I did. And that's how I got my love nod. No, I, but I mean, it's amazing to yeah. see that suddenly yeah. the last yeah, scene, I when know. you went to see it in the theater and you saw that your artwork yeah. was the, I mean, it's a little incredible. bit of goosebumps? Or? Of course, it's, in, it's incredible. I mean, the first time I saw the, the film, I had no idea it was going to be in the film for so much on screen right, for so right. long. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. If I'd known that when I was sort of doing the initial design work, I think it would have been terrifying because yeah. it was actually such a big deal. Absolutely. And uh, you know, it's been an absolutely joyous and wonderful commission. And that's fantastic. It's been fantastic for the business, fantastic for all the girls here. And we've had a lot of fun with it over the years. And, yeah. it, and it just keeps, you know, so any any chance you might appear in another Bond film? Well, that would be nice. We'll, we'll, we'll wait and see, won't we? Oh, we'll wait and see. Of I have to say, I think you know it was such a great film. I have to say, yeah. I do love that one. Yes. I love Daniel Craig in it and Eva. I think I think their characters are amazing, and it is truly romantic and heartfelt. Yeah. You know, it's not it's not just a skimpy story. It's a, it's such a good story. Yeah. It's always going to be my favorite film, and you know what? If that's and obviously there's Quantum Solace after that, but you know to have a piece of jewelry. In a film like that, on screen, oh. you know, I mean, I was born in London, I fly the flag for a truly British brand, so right. to have my piece of jewellery in a film like that is absolutely amazing, and you know, it, if I never have another a film, a jewellery in another film, it doesn't matter to me. It, it's a life well lived. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah I'm, well, just, I'm happy with that. I want to thank you. Um, number Pleasure. one, you are so passionate, enthusiastic, yeah. and it spills into yeah. Yeah. the pieces, but also for letting all the Bond fans, and even just fans of your jewellery, own a piece of the movie. I mean, truly, that's what it feels like. Yeah, and thank well, you for is, creating it. it. It is. And that's also why we did a, 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 the collection alongside it. Right. With the men's items that you own. Some yeah, of yeah. Are, and a smaller collection of the mini love knots as well. Because let's face it, not everyone can afford right. £2,000. Absolutely. For a piece of jewellery like that. So I really wanted to create some smaller but very beautiful pieces so people could have a little piece of it. Yeah. as well and they've been really popular we've done really well with the, with the smaller necklaces and earrings are really good that's, so that's fantastic really nice. well yes. thank you so much Such thanks for your time David. this is great to be here yeah. this has been David Zaritsky and Sophie Harley and we will see you very soon take care <laughs> thanks for watching this episode if you want to be 
up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.